In this video, we will cover customizing the SharePoint list form from within the SharePoint environment and using it, testing it from within the environment. So first we'll go to Power Apps, Customize Forms. We may have to sign into Power Apps depending on if you have not already signed in. So we are good here. It is directly taking us into the Power Apps environment. Okay, so this is our screen. If you see here, this card is too huge. We will try to put something under it. So if you see here, we are not able to resize it. You go to advanced, unlock, okay. Then this is the actual uh, uh, label. And then this will also can now be reduced. So we have unlocked it first. Now, <sighs> let's put a button. Ah, the button went inside the card. So inside the screen, let's put the button. Okay. Now, we'll add the connection to the office uh, connectors search office. 365 Outlook Okay, done. So on clicking of this button will send the email office 365 Outlook dot send email email v2 Okay, my email address, don't copy it, I'll omit. So we'll format our email score of the student name and now see there is no direct way of getting the items. So we have here title. So the uh, the name of this is title data card one. Title underscore data card one dot default. Data card one F A U N T default. Oh, we forgot comma for the subject and comma for the no um, okay right score okay uh, score okay mm, okay then this is the body of the email so we will put name name and once again it's the same text colon space and this then we have to say and break because it's an email br means it's or it will take it to the next line because email is html and so this is name title data card one dot default Oh, oh, oh. And means combining the strings with all. So we have to make the uh, end of. Okay. So this is name. Then we will bring the score. So we'll just copy it. Score. That's it. No, not title. Score data card one. S-C-O-R is score 
and then which is the other field date of birth date of b i r t date of birth so date of birth data card one date of b i r date of birth data card one uh, in case it's uh, uh, date time field so we can just put this here date of birth that's it we'll just test this first okay too much complicated run button button john what are we testing here is it a real test no correct yes it is not a real test so we go here we say file save and then publish to SharePoint. Remember that. And then again publish to SharePoint. Remember these things. Okay? Remember, remember. Now, I go back here. I go back here. I have a Skype call. Let me disconnect that. Okay. Uh, so we will uh, then go to our student score list. Ah, I will give you a call. Don't worry. Control F5. Control F5. I'll just do Control F5. And then let's edit the item. Why? Let's say we will go back here. Control F5. Read up. One score one. Then I take an item, then say edit. It will take some time now. It will take some time. Yeah, it came now here. Yeah. Now the button. Let's see John. John sixty ages score is this. John 60 score is the email coming. So you have to wait a little time. When you publish from here, you have to wait some time. So this is the first part. Then we will uh, try to add something. Let's see what we will do. Okay. Um, yeah, here. Let's go here again. So this is the attachments data card. And then let's add links. How do we add links? Anybody? No? Add field. Yes, 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 yes. Link to the item. Add. Very nice. Where is it? So this is the link to the item. We will worry about this link later, but we'll try to send the link of the item in the email. So the button click once again. And we come back here. Now, what is the name of this data card? Link to the item. Not date of the word, link to the item. Single quotes now it is uh, it has space link to the item underscore data card one default. Let, let me see link to the item underscore what is now ah, this is the problem and this is the problem. Text, do we need text? And text. Do we need this? Link to the item underscore. Let's copy this. I may have done 
Maybe possible, maybe possible, might be possible, might or maybe. Okay, link. Um, what was the mistake? <laughs> Typing mistake, man. It happens at any age. Okay, what was I doing? Okay, let's run this from here, and we can see that we have got the link to the item. So. I'm not going to do anything with this link. We just take this just here from the email. You get the link to the item. That's John. That's correct. Then uh, we publish it. Okay, we publish this again. File, save, save this version. Publish to SharePoint. Publish to SharePoint two times. I don't know why, but that's how you do it. <laughs> Then we come here, do a control F5 and wait. There is a small wait. So we can we can see our wait is successful. No, it's not. So we have to wait a little bit more. wait was worth it because now we can run it from here we don't have to go to power apps to run our small piece of code now it is coming from here so that's it about customizing the what was that oh that's me okay so this is about customizing the uh, form from within the sharepoint and running it from within the sharepoint and when we want to undo this change so we go to list settings we go to form settings use the default sharepoint form and then we can before that we should we, should, we must say delete the custom form form settings use the default form okay so now after the delay after whatever time it takes to propagate then we go to edit uh, it should uh, restore it back to the uh, 